I built with my team a 20-foot gooseneck trailer flatbed with a 5-foot dovetail. And I also built a 25-foot um, trailer with a 5-foot dovetail uh, with one other partner from our school. Houston's been a great show to come to every year. We've, I've been coming for about 17, 18 years. I uh, ran across it a long time ago and I thought, I'm, one of these days I'm going to try to win that thing. I built a goat cheering table. It's all adjustable, literally all adjustable. It's cool. Each year, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo proudly offers young students the chance to showcase their talents during the Agricultural Mechanics Project Show. Hundreds of 4-H and FFA members load up their projects and travel across Texas to learn valuable life lessons. The lessons don't necessarily come from a textbook. They come from their hands, their minds, their imagination, and some old-fashioned elbow grease. When people come down and see that, they need to understand that uh, no engineer designed this. Uh, well, maybe they are engineers, but they're young student engineers. Uh, no, no college degree engineer designed this. No manufacturing company put this together. What was the real intent and purpose of this project? It's to teach life skills. It's to teach life leadership capabilities and abilities. It's to teach these youngsters the ability to engage engage with themselves, engage with their instructors, but more importantly, when they come to Houston, to engage with this large body of spectators that we have coming through the barns. Everybody that, I, that stopped by and said it was really unique, you know, they've never seen anything like it, which is what I was looking for. You know, everybody seems to like it. Even the judges seem to like it. I placed third in my class, so that was really good. It's, it's so much more than learning how to, how to make something, how to weld. It teaches me leadership with everybody else, the younger guys that are in my group and stuff like that. It also teaches me how to manage, like keep under my budget and make everything work like that. It's just so much more than what meets the eye to it. You know, you have to dedicate yourself and you have to have leadership and you have to have the discipline. You have to learn all your people skills, uh, communications, uh, your problem solving because you run into a lot of problems with a project this size of how, and you learn to troubleshoot faster and. Uh, this can help you later on in life getting a job. Uh, we got reserve grand champion overall and also we won our class and uh, granted uh, in our division to the trailers. I mean we have an amazing trailer. It definitely promotes a lot of confidence, a lot of um, uh, kind of the, the things you want your kids to have as far as their abilities to communicate with other people. Um, a lot of their uh, abilities that you never knew they even had and um, they grow, they grow a lot. These four kids really didn't know a whole lot about each other and they've really developed some strong friendships, some strong bonds they'll probably have for the rest of their life. From welding and cutting to painting and design, the students learn advanced mechanical skills that will enhance their education and open doors for future careers. While they're gaining leadership, while they're gaining the ability to uh, plan and design, they're learning a skill. And they're going to learn uh, how to design the piece of equipment. They're going to learn uh, what it takes to buy the materials. Uh, they're going to learn skills in putting this together. They're going to do all the things that it takes to manufacture this piece of equipment. It's a perfection contest and you got to look at the industry people and, and try to do a better job than what industry does, you know, because that's uh, not any different than, than going out and having a show steer or a pig or whatever, you know, you, it's, you've got to have everything just as perfect as you can because you've got uh, ultimately people going out there and looking at it, you know, the judges, they're industry people and uh, college professors, they're hunting for any mistake. Whoever's got the least amount of mistakes that's, and, and does a good job selling their project, that, that's the ones that will win. One thing that I tell my kids is <clears throat> our welding, welding contest is over. Now it's a public relations contest. And what I want my kids to be able to do is go out and, and I don't necessarily want them to sell the project, I want them to sell themselves. I want them to be able to show that the pride that they have inside and to be able to 
stick their hand out and shake somebody's hand and say, my name is Jay Newton and I'm from Vega High School. I I'd like to show you this project. For some ag students, this experience will do more than just teach them about trailers and implements. It will pave the way for their future and teach them lessons that will last a lifetime. I'm going to major in ag mechanization in college and everything, so I mean, it was a real step for me to realize what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. We, we restored a 1953 tractor. It was a total of like 1,400 hours we put into it. On Get set. Go. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo also hosts the state FFA finals of the Tractor Tech Contest. Across the state, young, talented ag students work all year to advance to this tough competition. The challenge begins with a written exam, followed by a components test. The top teams then move into a timed event that challenges them to identify and repair deliberately placed malfunctions in identical diesel tractors. Well, they have to think on their feet and they have to use the skills that's taught them to debug that tractor. And it's difficult. In 30 minutes, the pressure's on them out there. Sometimes they make a few mistakes, but it'll teach them in life to just keep going. In addition to having a unique skill set, these young ag mechanics can offer future employers something that other students might not have, a solid and sincere work ethic. I think they all had some really amazing skill sets, but not only that, their confidence, I mean, just speaks volumes for who they are and what they've done. Uh, I think no matter where they go, whether it be in the welding fields, in the agricultural fields or wherever, I think they're gonna do well just because they've had a good foundation. Uh, they felt confident coming in and speaking to everybody. Uh, they felt comfortable, really comfortable, just sitting and, and carrying on a conversation one-on-one -on -one with our recruiters and uh, with myself. And it, it, they were very comfortable in what they did and how they spoke. I'm going to Navarro for the, my two-year associate's degree. And then I plan to go to Sam Houston State for my bachelor's. And what do you want to do? I want to eventually get, I want to eventually open my own shop or work my way up to the John Deere system with a bachelor's degree through agricultural mechanics. And they really showed a lot of self-discipline uh, in not only focusing on their projects, but getting their projects completed and tracking their projects throughout, uh, not only expenditures, but also the time that was spent on doing every little piece of the projects. You know, we're right here in the nation's fourth largest city with the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, and we have one of the lowest unemployment rates uh, in the nation right now. But when I talk to all these people who represent the companies here in Houston that are volunteers at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, they're crying for skilled labor. And these are skills that if we can teach these youngsters this, uh, yeah, they're going to need more training than just this, but it gets them, it gets a foot in the door. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo recognizes the dedication and contribution of these talented students and rewards them with scholarships, tools, and equipment that fuels their programs at school and at home. In the industrial distribution business, you end up with a lot of surplus inventory every year. Um, you know, maybe you bought something for a customer and the customer is no longer buying it, they change to something else. So you end up with equipment that you need to do something with. Um, and, and the Ag Com Mechanic Committee is just a perfect place for us to donate some of these materials. Um, it gives us an opportunity, obviously, for our company to take a tax write-off on it. And that is a huge bonus to a company our size. Um, and then for us, it also makes us feel good that we know we're helping kids in our own area uh, to learn skills that they're going to use lifelong. I think our last donation um, uh, in 2012 was for about $100,000 worth of product. It's absolutely a win-win. We do it year after year and I'm, I plan on it now. The donors, they are amazing. Everybody was ecstatic because of all the great prizes that you can get and they can use, which is really helpful in the shops. 
One of the reasons we like being involved with them is because they get a lot of products donated to them, but they don't have a lot of cash donors. So we're able to give them a donation that really makes a difference in their program because it supplements some of their other costs that wouldn't otherwise be covered, and we like that. We feel like we are very much a partner with them. They know we, they have a commitment from us to support their program every year, and as a result of that, there's a, there's a fond affection between their group and our team. I think Ag Mechanics really exemplifies what the radio is all about. It's actually 12 years between San Antonio and Houston. Um, my kids have been able to win a little over a quarter million dollars in scholarships and prizes. And so being able to come in here and, and have the kids show and exhibit the product that they've built and then to be able to go home with some tools and equipment and some things that they can have for themselves to help start their own personal program or, or things that can go home and go into our personal shop program that, that we don't have to rely on our local tax base to have good equipment or new equipment. It's very, very helpful for us. More than a thousand students participate in the Ag Mechanics programs held during the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo every year. More than a hundred devoted volunteers give of their time and talents year round to make sure each student is successful. You're talking about the youngster and the amount of hours they put into this. I think it's equal by the amount of hours that the volunteer puts into it. So you're seeing a marrying of resources, volunteer resources, educational resources, teachers, parents, volunteers. It's what the Houston Life Show and Rodeo really is. For more information on the agricultural mechanics programs or the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, visit hlsr.com.